So I see two different kind of mindsets approaching this problem. And the first one, the way I think of it is, um, I really want to make moussaka tonight. So that's my plan. That's in, in essence, that's my business plan, right? So I go to the refrigerator and I see that, well, I don't really have any lamb, but I have beef, so I'll use beef, that's okay. And then I say, well, actually, I don't have any aubergines either, but that's all right, I have cucumber, which is a similar kind of vegetable. And I don't have any potatoes, but hey, I have rice. And I don't have any milk for the cream sauce, but I have, um, I have yogurt. So it's kind of, it's, you know, there are quite a lot of substitutions, but you know, it sort of still feels like the same kind of dish, maybe. But of course, you know, what we know is that this is now not the same dish at all. And each individual in, uh, substitution might not have been terrible, but cumulatively, we're now eating something or proposing to eat something that probably nobody is terribly excited about. And the second approach is radically different, which is that if there was a plan, it's been thrown away. And instead we're opening the refrigerator and saying, okay, what have we got? And given what have we got, what are we gonna make with it that feels really attractive and compelling right now? And I've seen companies in both of these mindsets, one absolutely cleaving for dear life to the plan, and the other one just say, saying, we're in a different time, a different place, let's start afresh. And my sense is that what I think of as the sort of <laughs> Musaka mindset is a little sad because there's a kind of recognition explicit or implicit that this is not going to be Moussaka. This is not going to be what we originally envisaged. And it's maybe not terrible, but it's very backward looking. And so there's a great sense of loss, a sense of the gap between the plan and the reality. And so it feels like survival and it is a kind of survival, but it isn't very galvanizing. Whereas the sort of refrigerator mindset is very forward looking. We can cook, we can invent something new or we can cook something we forgot we had all the ingredients for, or um, you know, we can, we can combine, do some interesting combinations that actually we've been thinking about for a while, but actually let's do them now. And let's accelerate out of the crisis into the future rather than being kind of stuck with a lot of baggage of the past on our backs. And so I, so I think it's really, I mean, you can tell obviously from the way I've described it, which I think is more productive. I think the allure of the, of the first scenario is it feels very familiar. Uh, and the danger of the first scenario is that all the small compromises actually add up to an unintended, completely different outcome. And I think the attraction of the second mindset is it's very fresh, it's now, it's recognizing we're in a different place. And it doesn't carry with it any of the reassurances that a recipe or a business plan has. Uh, but I think it's much more forward facing. But of course, it also requires a certain amount of courage, a great deal of imagination. And in the case of you know, real leadership of real organizations, it will need tremendous communication and articulation.